Sunny done got up here on the rooftop, y'all, about to jump. I said, oh, my freaking goodness. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester for the General Hospital, August 5th, 2024. Okay, y'all, so first thing first, let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Did y'all think that the baby was going to die? But, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the episode, the baby died. TJ and Molly's baby died, y'all. And at the end of the episode, Christina passed out and the machine started beeping. I said, oh my goodness. I said, nah, I ain't read nothing about her passing away or nothing like that. I said, ooh, everybody be out to get her if she does pass away, but I doubt it. Okay, y'all, so on today's episode, basically, Ava was still being questioned. First, she was being questioned by Dante, but then, you know, they told him to go to the hospital, and that's when Chase took over. Chase ended up telling Anna that Ava's definitely lying about something. I said, Ava, now is not the time to be worried about... I said, what? maybe she's worried that, you know, they gonna wonder why Agent John was there and put two and two together. I said, forget that. I said, you face the charges, man. You better tell them. I said, regardless, they gonna look at it as like, oh, you lied, because they supposed to tell her on tomorrow's episode that they have evidence or something like that that suggests that she lied. But why Ava was being questioned, then Trina ended up being questioned, and that's when she revealed, you know, what she saw. <laughs> Ava was watching her. I said, man, they done messed up this friendship. Afterwards, when they walked out, when Ava walked out, Trina came hugged her, and that's when she was like, let me buy you some coffee. I said, you ain't going nowhere, girl. <laughs> she tried to get up out of there. I said, you know... The safest place for you right now, the safest place for you right now may just be locked up. It may just be locked up because everybody after you, ma'am. Everybody. But yeah, um, they told her Trina could go, but you got to stay. I don't think they told her yet that the, you know, the baby passed away. But she's supposed to be behind bars, though, because I think Trina goes to question her. We might as well get Jocelyn and Dix out the way, too. So Jocelyn went there to talk to him about everything that happened. She was crying and upset, and he ends up comforting her and everything. And that's when they got to doing what they was doing. <laughs> Y'all know what they do. We also got to go and get Blaze and them out the way. So they was at the hospital first. They was at the hospital, and that's when Natalia was like, okay, only family's, family is here or whatever. We should go. Now it's not the place to argue about it. So she leaves with her. How do y'all feel about that? I mean, the scene afterwards where she was talking to her and she was, like, asking her about her and Christina's relationship and everything. I guess I formed it in a question. Do y'all think Blaze being absent or Natalia convincing Blaze to leave makes up for, or her conversation afterwards makes up for her not being at the hospital with Christina? Because when I first seen it, I was like, no. I said, it don't matter if the family's there. They there, everybody waiting, everybody waiting on Christina and, you know, news about the baby, of course. But she was supposed to be her girlfriend, so why you leave? Why did you leave? Your mama could have left. She could have went. Bye. <laughs> I said, she could have went. I don't know. I was waiting on Christina to ask for her or something. But Christina, when she woke up, she immediately was asking about her baby. She was like, where's my baby? Is my baby okay? That's when they revealed, one, that it was a girl. And two, that she didn't make it. I said, oh, I thought they was, I thought for sure, I thought the baby was going to make it. And then Christina was going to be in a coma or something. And they were trying to decide if they should take the baby. Because, you know, the whole, they built all this up. They build all this up where they arguing and stuff over the baby, only for the baby to pass away. I was like, do y'all think this is going to be one of those situations where the baby didn't actually pass away? They swapped the babies or something like that, and years later it's going to be revealed that the baby's still alive? But yeah, Natalia tells Blaze they should go, and she ends up leaving. They have a conversation, and that's when she tells her about her and Christina, how they got started. And Blaze ends up thanking her mama for trying or whatever, for succeeding, as she said. And I said... I don't know. I think she should have been at the hospital. It don't matter who I was there. It didn't matter who I was there. She should have been there. And Natalia, she stayed mentioning, oh, y'all was only dating. Y'all only been together. Y'all only been a couple for some months. And all. what they got to do with anything? They still a couple. She's supposed to be right at her side. But once Christina found out that the, baby, that the baby didn't make it, she wanted to be the one to tell Molly. So Molly came up in there, and that's when she told her. And she was like, I'm so sorry or whatever. And she was basically saying, you know, it's her fault. It was her fault, though. It was her fault. She ain't had no business going up in there. Sonny didn't tell her to go take her tail up in there and confront that lady. She didn't tell her that. She definitely didn't tell her that. So it's partially her fault. It's partially her fault. She didn't have to do nothing. She didn't have to do nothing. She chose to go over there. So TJ is right. It is her fault. But the doctor ends up telling everybody else while uh, Christina was the one to tell Molly. And that's when TJ ended up talking to Jordan, talking to his mama, saying, you know, he shouldn't feel this way, but he does. He feels like it's Christina's fault. He blames her. He want to know why she was in there. And then he found out. I thought he, I was waiting on him to go off on Sunny. I was waiting on him because he's been talking a lot of noise. I said, I thought all oh, y'all was cool. I thought all oh, y'all was cool. Hold on. 
But yeah, um, I was waiting on him to go off on Sunday. I knew somebody was gonna go off on Sunday. Okay, let me see. So once Molly came out, <laughs> she said, you know, the baby was a girl, and that's when Sonny was uh, trying to ease up in there. <laughs> she, she, he tried to ease up in there to see Christine. So I'm going to see my daughter. She said, you ain't going nowhere near my sister. And he's like, I didn't have nothing to do with this. And she's like, do you not know that she went there to basically to confront Ava about the uh, subpoena and everything? And that's when everybody else standing there learned the truth. Dante already knew, though. Dante knew. And the look on Jordan's face, I was like, oh, my goodness. Then Molly went off on Sonny. She told him it's his fault. It's his fault she went to go see Abel. It's his fault Christina got hurt. And it's his fault that her daughter is gone. Sonny, look all depressed and sad. He had his head held down. I said, I feel sorry for him a little bit. A little bit. I feel sorry for him walking out. Dante was looking. Jordan made a face. Um, I, again, I think we're going to end up seeing TJ go off again. And here it goes, y'all. Once Sonny left, he went on the rooftop. He took off his jacket. And then they show him standing up there on the doggone edge and he's talking to somebody everybody's speculating that it's morgan because you know they said morgan they saw the dude that was playing morgan was it brian craig or something like that the man the last person that played morgan he was on set or something like that i don't know how true that is but they said sonny's supposed to see morgan but is that enough for him to get him down up off the doggone roof because you know um in the trailer on today's episode not today's episode lord jesus <laughs> hey today monday yeah today's monday on the promo this morning, it's 6 o'clock or whatever time it was. They dropped the promo. And on the promo, they showed uh, Sonny standing there with Jason. And they would look like they was waiting for news. So I'm guessing it got to be about Christina because cause, uh, the baby gone. The baby's gone or whatever. So it's Christina. So I wonder if Jason is going to be the one to save him. Got to be. Oh, I should ask the question. Do y'all think that Sonny going to get down by itself? Or do y'all think somebody going to save him? And if somebody is going to save him, do y'all think it's going to be Jason? I know the show Donna on the preview for tomorrow's episode talking to Carla saying that Sonny had missed uh, their play date or something like that. And Carla made a face. So I'm wondering if Carla is going to reach out to Jason and then that's when he's going to go looking for him. Because they also show Brick. And Brick was saying um, basically whoever was on the other side of that phone call, um, they wasn't in Sonny's trusting people. <laughs> I ain't say it right, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> they wasn't one of the people that Sonny trusts anymore. So it was either Carly or Jason. He usually fun of Carly, though, so it might be Jason. But I'm wondering if um, there was Jason that he was trying to see where Sonny was, and then, you know, he goes to the hospital because, you know, Jason's going to be there. So, spoiler alert, I seen somebody comment this, but I just seen this morning that Jason's supposed to uh, confront Ava or warn her or something. He's going to frighten her. He's going to frighten her or whatever. But, yeah, Sonny over here on the edge of the roof, he's on the rooftop about to jump and stuff. He was thinking about, you know, Dante. He's thinking about everybody he feels like betrayed him or turned their back on him. I said, Sonny, something's wrong. I said, okay, whoever find him on that roof, they should know now that something's the matter, that something's wrong, right? Oh, I know. I skipped something. Ava insinuated that Christina bipolar. She keeps changing her story. I see, might as well. You would have did better or the same like I keep saying by telling the truth. She adding on stuff. She told my son, I think she bipolar too. <laughs> I said, Ava, you just digging this doggone hole deeper. And then, um, like people said about the photos that Brick was taking, I said, that's not going to do you no justice, ma'am. And I also, I was going to ask y'all about the whole Sunny thing, the bipolar thing. Wasn't the last time something major happened to make them realize that he was off his meds or that something was going on with his meds? Didn't he have a weapon on one episode? Wasn't he hallucinating Morgan then too or something like that? I don't know. But yeah, what is this it? Let me see. I think that's everything, y'all. But I said Christina and Molly, I don't think they're going to be good after this. Not for a while. Look, she's supporting her right now. She stopped Sunny from going in. But I said, I don't think they're going to be good for a while. Because once Molly fully realizes everything, she's going to blame Christina just like TJ. But we'll see how far it goes, though. But that's it. Let me know your thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, deuces. Have a great rest of the day and be safe.